you doing, big guy? What's your name? Buffalo Public School Superintendent Dr. James Williams got up bright and early to greet students here at Burgard on their first day of school. Welcome back. <laughs> it's not only an exciting day for these students, but for the school district as well, as five newly renovated schools, all part of the district's billion dollar reconstruction project, are now open for classes. And I'm just happy for the students the administration, the teachers, and this whole community because this is something that's happening in Buffalo that's not happening anywhere else in the country where we have some of the finest facilities. Phase three schools include Burgard High School, South Park High School, Herman Badillo Bilingual School 76, International School 45, and Lovejoy Discovery School 43. $38 million was spent improving Burgard High School. In addition to Burgard's new facade outside, it's the technology inside that's exciting administrators. We also have state-of-the-art career and technical education uh, classrooms with authentic workspace. Our science labs are, are absolutely fabulous. And technology is a huge part of the $28 million spent here at International School. Students come from all over the world and now can use computers to learn and communicate. Even our kindergartners can get on the computer even if they don't speak English. And it's a great tool to get them started in the language. Major improvements along with the new addition are making School 76 a gem in its west side neighborhood. Dr. Williams stopped by newly constructed classrooms, all wired for the 21st century and with whiteboard technology. Herman Badia School even has new science labs. By having this kind of equipment, we can allow them to take for example, Living Environment, which is a high school class here in the eighth grade so that they can walk into high school already with some credits to their name. This mainstay in South Buffalo has a new look, a new attitude, and a new principal. South Park High School stands tall once again with nearly $40 million of renovations, including a new addition, new theater, and gymnasium. Mrs. Shuda, a graduate of South Park, is happy to see her school return to its old you know, glory. I think that uh, when I went here in the 70s, there were places in the building that were really in bad shape. Here, everything is new and ready to go. Uh, the technology is amazing. When I was here in 1978, there weren't computers. Now there's over 500. And over at Discovery School 43, it's a facelift for this Lovejoy school. $24 million was spent allowing students to learn in a first-class learning environment. These improvements not only allow students to study academics, but they allow them to express the creative side too with new music rooms. We want to see uh, gradual improvement each year. Uh, since we've been here, we've seen gradual improvement. We want to continue to uh, graduate more students and have more students prepared for college. He's moving! He's moving! Oh my goodness! The five schools Dr. Williams visited on the first day of classes represents more than $150 million in renovations, improving the quality of education for thousands of Buffalo school students for years to come. The goal now, you must be prepared from the neck up if you're going to be in the 21st century economy. It's not how strong you're anymore, it's how smart you're going to be in order to work in this country.